Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you're not a part of the channel membership, you can join so it is a <laughs> You can join now. It is a dollar and ninety nine cents, and you do have to be at least eighteen years old or older to join. So, I am here with Baby India, and India is the prototype kit sculpt by Jennifer Sussman Price from Silicone Studios. Um, I was given the opportunity to do the prototype for this cuddle head, and um really really enjoyed it she's on a reggie ann's body and let me see if there's anything else that i need to give credits to so i you know i i open up my videos i like to tell everybody a the kit name a lot of times um i also like to tell who sculpted it who painted it who rooted it or you know so in this case i painted her i'm in the process of rooting her um, I did not sell my prototype like most people sell their prototypes or auction them off. Um, I am a doll collector first. I hoard my babies a lot of times and then I sell them later down the road. Um, this one I decided to keep as a forever baby for sentimental purposes, my own personal reasons behind it. Um, but I have her picture on the wall, so I don't think she will leave. But I want to say she has on these cute little shoes. They don't, she's not really totally matching, right? So she got on all these different colors of pink. And she has on, I don't even know who made those shoes, what the shoes are made by. Let's see, we'll see if we can zoom in. But they, they fit her feet so cute. She, the little corduroy pants, I know they are Carter's because it came with a little sweater top. Um, the top, I am not sure where I got it from, but it says love on it. I thought it was super cute. And then, of course, you know, that's like a little hospital hat. Um, let me see if I pull it down just a, It's like the thin area shows right there, and I just like you to pull it out just a little bit more. Okay. And she's wearing a wee thumby binky, which I'm going to keep in her mouth. Um, which fits really nice in her mouth. Uh, the kit head doesn't have an open mouth um it has to be open but anyway i just wanted to share what she has on i actually have i found this little sleeper and i was going to put this on her in preemie it's actually in preemie um burt b's brand seems to run pretty big um this to me is more of a small newborn or just born newborn baby size so it's pretty darn big and i think so I mean, it's it's petite. I like that it's petite and it's like narrow and not wide. So I think it's going to be really cute for her. Um, what I love about it is that the feet, you can either wear them open or flip them over them to close them, which is nice because she's she doesn't have real feet. And then the hands has the mitts and you can flip them over as well. So it'll work for both my babies that does have hands and feet and then the ones that don't but I mainly bought it for um India I like to like share my baby's clothes but there are certain clothes items that I keep like specifically for my babies I don't know if you guys do that or not like um certain babies have their specific things that's just for them um and then there's other babies that I kind of like I mean other clothes that I kind of like mix up all their stuff and then there are some babies that I might have in my collection that only have their own clothes. Like they don't share people share their clothes with anyone at all. And they don't wear other the other baby's clothes at all. I don't know what baby that is in here. <laughs> um, but now at this time, because right now it seems like all of them pretty much shares. I think Jaden has some stuff that I only use for him, but I think Jaden and Vegas will be sharing a lot of clothes my full body uh boys but yeah so i just wanted to pop on and show you guys that i haven't did any sit down videos in a while because it takes me time to set up to sit down and get the camera exactly in the right spot and all that um so when i pop on and do these type videos it's so much easier to um just pop on and do a video um, so really quick, I always like to give an update on what I have going on. So, um, I have a cuddle head that I'm in the process of painting. 
but I also have two cuddle heads that I'm in the process of rooting, both of which will be available as soon as they are completed rooting. Um, one is a micro preemie and the other one is just a regular preemie size baby. One is, the micro preemie is Caucasian and the uh, preemie is uh, African American or black, a black baby. Um, then I'm working on, I'm not sure what color this cuddle head will be, but I think it's going to be an AA baby, pretty sure it's already hit the AA stage. So I don't know how AA is going to be. Um, so that one, I don't know if I'm going to show it before it gets here or not. I also have another baby that is completed. Now I'm actually uh, doing all the texturing and the final little details to it now um, that was supposed to be available this week. It's a reborn, but it. I went in an area that I've never done before with this baby, so I am really, really like, I want to keep it. <laughs> I want to keep it. I'm going to tell you why I want to keep it. I know. Like some people are like, ah, I knew you was going to start doing that. The only reason why I really want to keep this baby is because I really want to see my full vision on it. Like I want to see this baby rooted the way that I want it rooted. And I just want to see it as a fully completed baby. And and it's also a baby that I, I've wanted for so long. And I bought the kit for myself. But... I couldn't get the eyes in. Oh, see, there you have it. It's an awake baby, but I couldn't get the eyes in back in the day. And I, I finally said, you know what? Let me get the eyes in. And I did get the eyes in. And now um, I use the inspiration picture and it actually turned out pretty cool. And I was like so excited about it because I use inspirational baby pictures all the time. But I usually pick a little from this picture, a little from that picture, and it doesn't normally come out even remotely close to the picture. But I usually use them more for like coloring and color placement and stuff like that. So this time I'm really, really excited about um, this particular baby. I'm, I'm on the fence if I should share it bald regardless if I'm going to sell it or not or should I just wait but it's going to be months before it can get rooted so that's the downside to it so I don't know I don't know what to do it's so many decisions 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 um I'm making space for my babies and kind of trying to find permanent spots for them on how I'm going to have them displayed and I'm trying to always keep like this changing table where she's laying open so that I can always when I want to do a video where a baby is just laying I can do it here but I think I need to start utilizing my crib for multiple babies because I don't have the space anymore and I don't I had two cribs I still have two cribs but I use one of my cribs in my guest bedroom um I keep it downstairs since now I'm a grandmother and God knows how many other grandbaby munchkins are going to come hatching out because I do have four grown children. And um, so I have my first grand um, children was born by my oldest daughter, which was great. I told them to go in order, but they don't listen. I said, listen, my oldest daughter, you get to have the baby first. The second oldest daughter was supposed to have the next one, but instead the third daughter had one next. So kind of skip the second daughter and then I have my son which is the youngest of the grown kids and I'm just like please no more grandkids but anyway when I'm downstairs I like to have that crib so if the baby falls asleep I don't have to go all the way upstairs and I can keep them downstairs so I can kind of check on them not only that if one of them sleep over there's a crib downstairs they can keep their own munchkin in the room with them um Sometime I will, I use it for photos as well in that room. So it's just, it's so it, but it, it opened up a little bit more space in the nursery. I, I like that part. So it allowed me to have more space because I don't have two full cribs in here. Um, so now, but it takes away the amount of space I have for babies. So I'm working on some things and I'm not sure. I think I'm going to add another swing. 
like another like rocker type chair thing in here. I don't know. So, and I have a toddler corner now where the babies just sit on like a play mat, which is cool. Um, oh my God, I just, <laughs> oh my God, this is so crazy. I just looked over and I'm like, there's a baby riding on the uh, giraffe, but it's headless. So I actually got an extra cuddle body over there. It's dressed up and it's like on the back of the giraffe. Oh my God. I was looking over there and I'm like, wait a minute, why is that? What is that on, on the giraffe? So anyway, so I got a lot everywhere. Um, I'm getting close, guys, getting closer to being able to do a whole full tour of my room. It doesn't look like I'm getting closer, but I'm getting closer to getting started on this room. I'm doing like a whole bunch of organization um, projects in my house. Um, I know that's not doll related, so I am documenting some of it, but I don't know if I'll share it on YouTube. I might show it and share it in the chat box, like some of the projects that I've done. Um, I'm going to take a vote and see if they want to see it or, you know, do that little journey with me. But, um, so it's taking me longer. So I've already started like the drawers in the nursery like i've separated the boy drawers to the girl drawers and you know doing the fold and roll system oh my gosh i don't know how you guys like keep everything so together i'm trying to get a better system so that i could be like that that's another thing if you guys have like nursery tours on your page where you show how you do your storage or anything um let me know in the comment section um so that i can go take a look or look for that video on your channel um definitely need some motivation and some inspirations i've been watching a lot of um other channels for organizations and stuff like that it's kind of expensive though ordering in the bins and labels and all that great stuff but i'm getting there the second i have two baby closets and the second closet is not as bad as the walk-in closet that they have in here so the second closet is more like storage for supplies and clothing, new clothing that is mostly new clothing for when I uh, sell babies and I send them out. But then also some of my personal baby's clothes is in there as well. That closet I've pretty much got organized already. So oh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But anyway, this is a very long video of me not doing nothing. And I know you guys like more interactive videos. I'm going to get back to them. But right now, I'm extremely busy. I'm trying to get all these kits painted up. I'm starting to see empty bins now with where kits used to be. And that's going to be good. I'm not buying any vinyl kits. I didn't buy the Natalie Blick pre-order. I actually missed it, believe it or not. I set my alarm for the wrong time. And so, when I figured out that I did that, they were already sold out. So I didn't get that, which is great because I don't want, I didn't really care for it anyway. Um, I was just going to get it just like I said, because if you want it later, it's going to be extremely high. Um, I don't know what's going on with Natalie Blake, but I just haven't been a fan of her work lately. Um, but I like them because they're limited. <laughs> Give me the ugly one just because it's limited. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, I've been liking the Missies though lately that I've been seeing painted. And I'm actually working on my Missy too. But, okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, so all my kids are getting gone. Because I, I am not going to make that threatening pose or that, oh, or make people get excited. Don't get too excited. I'm not quitting painting for those that can't wait to see me, like, stop painting. Um, I just don't know how much I'm going to be painting to sell, um, moving forward. So once I get through doing all, go through all the kits, the stock that I have right now, I think that is what's going to change. I don't think I'm going to be painting as much reborns for sale, mostly for my personal use because of the rooting situation of me not being able to have a steady flow of sending them out to get rooted and you know um it's it's very hard you know you root, sitting finding a rooter and trusting that they're going to be able to give you what you're looking for and be able to it's like a custom like you're wanting 
this baby rooted in a particular way it may not come out that way and then it's like a huge letdown or you know just the whole thing you're sending out your hard work a painted head you don't know how long people are going to hold it or if they're going it's going to get damaged while it's in their possession or how they seal the heads if they're sealing them properly or it's just so much stuff so it's just like i can't control that part um, I have the one rooter that I use that I absolutely love. I will always work with her until she stopped taking um, my my heads. But she has pretty much kind of slowed down and stopped rooting as much for, you know, a lot of people. And, a lot, you know, just kind of mostly doing her own thing because she is an artist herself. Um, so she's slowing down. And I can understand that it's got to be a lot of work to be rooting, doing all that rooting. But, um... She did let me know that she will continue to root for me when she can. It's just, it's not, she can't just solely root for me. Trust me, I tried. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to hold on to the babies that she has rooted for me. Um, um, she really liked uh, my um, Zora. So, she's she's pretty special. And so... I think I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to her and Taraji and, you know, and that's another thing. I, I rarely get to keep babies that have hair. I usually, they usually end up getting sold and that kind of sucks for me sometimes. But anyway, that is the update. This, whoa, this turned into a very long video, but, um, thank you guys again so much for continuing to support me. I hope that you guys follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be uploading a lot of photos there soon. Um, let me know what babies that you guys haven't seen in a long time that you guys might want to see. And I'll see what I can do about getting those videos up. Um, so if I don't have... If I decide to keep the one baby that was supposed to be for sale this week. Because I'm trying to... Keep it going where constantly I have a baby available. So I'm trying to, that's why I'm not as op online as much as far as chatting, conversation, small talk. I'm kind of like boom, 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 boom because I am constantly on the go and working. And plus I have a lot of home projects that I got going on right now. Um, my house is like in a whole shake up because I've pulled out everything. I'm getting rid of baby clothes so that I can give to real children. I'm like gonna try to like reduce my clothing by like I don't know at least probably like 30% and give away like 30% of my clothing if not 40%. Um what else? Yeah, but if I don't if I keep that one and I don't decide to sell it bald, then I'm gonna try to make sure I have one of the cuddle babies with hair available to sell this week. So stay tuned. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching again. Thank you guys for your support. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I appreciate all your comments. I do read them all. Thank you. Bye-bye.